Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Uh, today is Saturday, November 11th, Veterans Day. So, happy Veterans Day to all my brothers and sisters out there in all the branches. And uh, so, today, uh, it's actually not a bad day. I'll show you the sky here, it's pretty nice. Uh, got actually decent power in today as well. And um, it's probably 30 degrees right now, so it's not terrible. We got a, we ended up getting maybe an inch of snow overnight. So I actually came out this morning and brushed off all the panels and got that. So when the when the sun got rocking, it would make decent power. So I did that this morning. That was fun. So that was that was no no big deal. It was a light fluffy snow, so it was like maybe an inch. And uh, like I said, a lot of it's already melted back off again. But we still got snow everywhere. But uh, so anyway, today. Uh, I'm going to answer a couple questions too because I get a lot of frequently asked questions so I'm going to go ahead and address those but I'm actually going to show you what I ended up doing today too. Uh, I went to Tractor Supply today and I wanted to get more cat food and so because I've been kind of going through what we had and I'm like okay I got to rebuild up my stock of cat food. I do prep for my cats okay because I do have five cats as you guys know and uh, actually they're all in the house right now because it's cold out. They've been hanging out there doing their thing in the house. So uh, I went today and I picked up three 40 pound bags of uh, cat food for them. And so uh, that way I'm, I'm more stocked up again than I was. I got more too low. I didn't like where I was at with what I had. So I wanted to reload again, if you will. And actually, because it's being Veterans Day, they had a 15% military discount. So I actually saved like I think it was 750 uh, on buying the cat food. So that actually ended up working out really nicely. So I was real happy about that. So I did that first, and then of course then I went to the Dollar General, and uh, I ended up picking up more of the uh, the Nor pesticides. There, they're really really good guys. I mean I you know for a dollar for these, it's. Uh, they're really, really good. I, I mean, I don't even know how to say anything more than that. They're just they're awesome to have. So I already have a bunch of them, so I picked up 20 more pouches of those. Like I said, for a dollar a piece, you really can't go wrong. And then also while I was there, uh, and I know I picked up this last week as well, but I got uh, more of the nighttime and uh, also the daytime. So now I got like three bottles of each of these as a backup. And the reason I got those was because actually uh, the last couple days we've had a lot of sickness going around at work. I mean a lot of sickness at work. A lot of staff being sick and stuff like that. And uh, I was feeling kind of under the weather the last couple days uh, even with work and stuff like that. And like yesterday I slept a freaking ton yesterday. And I knew I needed to. My, sore, my throat was a little sore. And so I just was like I do not want to come down with anything. I'm just going to rest and take care of myself, and uh, I've been eating uh, like 500 uh, milligrams of uh, vitamin C every day, making the kids do the same thing, and uh, so I've been doing that, and so actually I feel a lot better today. I did not have a sore throat when I woke up today. So then I also picked up more baking soda. Uh, baking soda has so many different uses, and they're awesome to have, and so I picked up four more boxes of that, and... Uh, so, you know, that's that's what I was working on today as far as adding more preps. Uh, the Nor stuff, you know, you're going to say, God, you probably got 50 pouches of it already. And I probably do. I probably have 50 pouches of it already. But it's just really good stuff to have. It stores well. We use it all the time. So it goes right into rotation. We eat it as we go. And uh, like I said, it's good stuff. And I, we, me and Heather eat it all the time. Eddie's not so much, but uh, Eddie's really picky on what he'll eat. So, okay, so frequently asked questions. I'm getting these a lot. So for my subscribers that have been around for a long time, these are going to be redundant, and I apologize ahead of time. But a lot of newer subscribers seem to ask the same questions over and over and over again. So I just kind of wanted to go over um, those with you guys. One of the questions that I get a lot is, how many acres do you have? Well, we have three acres here. And um, so it's uh, a decent-sized property. I can do a lot with it, and I do have a lot of plans that I do plan on doing, so we'll see how those all pan out, but uh, I definitely have a lot of plans on what I want to do with this property. 
So that's, um, that's how many acres we have. We have three acres. The other thing I get a lot, and this is a lot, um, are you going to, you, you should put in a wind turbine. You should, you know, put, to supplement your power source. Okay, here's the thing. Um, and yes, I did have, I do have a wind turbine that somebody gave me. Okay, that also, I do have that. But uh, I have not put up a wind turbine yet for a couple of easy reasons, okay. Cost effective wise right now, it would probably cost me a ton to put up a tower. Because I'm going to show you guys, these freaking trees, those trees are over 100 feet tall. So now I got to go above the trees if I'm going to go with a wind turbine, okay. I mean, you look at the trees here, guys. They're way up here. These trees are high, okay. They might even be higher than 100 feet. So if I'm going to do a wind turbine, I got to go above the trees to get any kind of productive wind to use, okay? And uh, so a tower would cost a freaking fortune to add a tower to the property. So that's, that's one of the reasons why I have not done a wind turbine at this point, okay? Uh, I'm going to, it's more cost effective to me to continue to add on to the solar and to, to do it that way for right now. And that's what I'm going to do right now is I, once I get my solar up to a certain point, I absolutely do want to put in a wind turbine. Absolutely. That will be a nice extra little bonus to have in the winter, especially in the winter when we get more winds. Like yesterday was pretty windy. Today's much calmer, which is nice. So it's, it's not, I, I don't mind the cold. It's when that wind is cutting through you that that's when it really kind of sucks. But, uh, you know, that's kind of, that happens. But anyway, um, so that's why, you know, like I said, that's why I don't have a wind turbine up at this point. And some people say, well, you could go with a smaller thing and stuff like that. And like I said, right now, cost effective wise, it's more cost effective for me to put my money into more solar. And so that's what I'm going to do. And uh, I, like I said, I definitely will down the road put in a wind turbine. I absolutely do want to do that. And that will happen. Okay. So, uh, Let's see, what else is I'm trying to think? Um, so those are basically a couple. I'm trying to think. Of, there's, I know there's more, too. And I, I get a lot of the same questions a lot, from especially newer subscribers. And that's okay. I mean, I answer your questions. I'll go ahead and answer you when you do. Um, but like I said, the wind turbine thing is a huge one that I get a lot. But uh, like I said, it's just right now it's, it's definitely a better move on my part to go with the way that I'm doing it. And uh, But... Uh, you know, as far as uh, each week in prepping and continuing to do stuff and add stuff, and people will say to me, well, where do you put everything? I get that one a lot, too. That's another thing I do get a lot. Where do you put everything? Well, I have, you know, I have the house, I have the camper, I have the shop, and then I have the other outbuilding over here as well. So I have a lot of room to put stuff into, you know, and I do basically the camper is utilized for storage that's what the camper is now it's basically strictly storage and we just you know we keep a lot of different stuff in there you know uh like like the cat food will go into the into the camper okay uh any kind of canned goods they're always going to be in the house because they need to be temperature regulated uh, anything else like uh, a lot of stuff in my buckets will go into the outbuildings and stuff like that you know so th 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 there's a I got stuff everywhere, and uh, you know, and I will continue to add stuff, and that uh, you know, and work on the different things. And once I put in a greenhouse, there'll be stuff stored probably in the greenhouse too. So you know, it, it's just uh, it's a work in progress, and uh, it's going to take time. And you know, it was, I was talking to a buddy of mine today, and uh, one of the things I wanted to talk to you guys about too is you know having dreams and aspirations and hopes and and wanting to. You know, if, if your dream is to be off-grid, and I've had a lot of people say, you know, that their dream is to do exactly what I'm doing. And, uh, you know, like I said, I want you guys, if you're going to do this and if you want to try to live this lifestyle, go in with your eyes wide open. You know, realize that it's not always going to be easy, that there's going to, it's going to have, you're going to have some difficulties. And it costs money, and it is not cheap. There's no cheap way out of going off-grid. There really isn't. Um... You know, you're going to put your money into your solar system. If you have a well, you know, you're going to have to have a decent way to get that water up out of the well. You know, um, you got to have some place to live, however you're going to do that. Uh, a lot of people are going with the buildings like I did and turning them into the houses. You know, um, there's a lot of different ways to do it. There really, truly is. And, uh, 
you know, and everybody's got to do what works for them. And, uh, you know, this is what we've, the way we've done it, it's worked for us and it's worked out really, really good. You know, um, I still continue to work a full-time job and, uh, you know, then doing this on the side, basically, and uh, trying to keep things going and doing different things here. And, uh, you know, it comes down to time and money, realistically. I mean, it's, uh, you know, as the money becomes more available, then I'll have money to play with to do what I want to do. And uh, so that's why tax time is always a really nice time of the year, because then I can, you know, work on different things at that point because I have the money to work with. Like last year, when I got my state income tax, I mean, I basically put almost all of it right back into the property. So, uh, you know, that's always a nice thing. It's like, to me, that's like bonus money. It's like, yeah, here we go. You know, I don't want to go out and piss it away on something stupid. I want to put it into something that's going to be functional for the property. But uh, to do this lifestyle, it, it, it's definitely work. It is definitely worth it. I absolutely 100% worth it. This is what I want you guys to think about. And especially, you know, I know there's a lot of older people that, uh, you know, that watch the channel. And, you know, I mean, I'm in my 50s, so it's like, you know, I'm not exactly young anymore either. But uh, the thing is, I'm looking at down the road to my retirement and where I want to be in 10 to 15 years and how I want my setup to be at that point. And I want to try to be as self-sufficient as I possibly can be at that point. So... You know, over the next 10 years, if we have 10 years, uh, before everything goes to crap, you know, I have a lot of stuff that I want to progress on with this property. And, uh, you know, getting myself up to where I'm going to be completely set up as far as solar goes. And, you know, getting a greenhouse in, getting an aquaponic system in, getting, you know, um, outbuildings for chickens and goats and uh, and rabbits and, and all those type of things. And, uh and get that going and then that way have you know milk supply and you know having a you know meat supply with the rabbits and also you know being able to grow my own vegetables and like I said I have a lot of dreams and aspirations and hopes that I want to do and it's going to take time anything that's worthwhile guys takes time nothing that happens overnight and it's worth it it really truly is and you know we're getting there and uh, you know I'm like excited I got 11 more payments to go on my building and that is a huge expense that I didn't anticipate having, but, you know, we needed to do what we needed to do at the time, and it's worked out really, really well. And there's a big difference between paying off something in three years than having a 30-year mortgage. It's a huge difference. And uh, so it worked out really, really well for us. And, uh, you know, so that's why we ended up going with the building. And I had people at the time say, well, you're just going right back into debt. And I had to look at things realistically. I had to have a place for us to live in the winter. Uh, I, we couldn't live in the camper year round. It just wasn't it wasn't going to work. Okay, so we needed to have a home, and so that's why we got the building. And you know, yeah, it, it was an expense, but again, it was three years, and here we are. I have less than a year to go now, and that building will be paid for. And uh, like I said, once that's paid for, that frees up a lot of money. Um, my payments on it, I'll go ahead and tell you, my payments are $460 a month, okay, for three years. And realistically, where are you going to go and live for $460 a month? Where are you going to, you can't, you know. And, uh, you know, the fact that we have our own solar system and we have our own well, so we don't get a water bill, we don't get a gas and electric bill, you know, we heat with wood. So, yeah, we pay for wood or we barter or, we, you know, cut some of our own and stuff as well. But, you know. It, it works out really, really well. I'd rather pay for the wood. I just, you know, I'd rather have somebody else, you know, um, do it. I'll, I'll split it. I don't have a problem doing that. But just bring me the wood. I'll split it and stack it, you know. I mean, it works out really well either way. But anyhow, you know, it's not an easy lifestyle, but it's well worth it in the end. And if you want to do this, you really got to sit down and you got to look at what can you do, how can you do it. Uh, it, it can you go out and buy a piece of property, you know, cash, and, and do it that way or do you have to do payments on a property you know and uh, you know however you want to do it or if you can do it privately through somebody you know there, there's a lot of different ways to get property and uh, then you got to figure out where you want to live and what you know what you want to do with that and in location 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 I'll tell you guys I'll say it over and over and over again you really got to pick your location very strategically where you want to be you know you don't want to be in a flood zone you know um, 
there's a lot of different things you got to look at. So anyway, now I'm rambling along here, and I apologize. But uh, so I've been kind of low key this weekend, just because, like I said, I hadn't really felt that well. Uh, I kind of really just slept a ton yesterday, which was really awesome. It felt really good. So uh, today was pretty low key as well, and and it's been cold too on top of it. So I just really, I just wanted to rest and try to get better. So that's what I did, and uh, that's what I'm doing, obviously. And so, like I said, adding more stuff to the homestead with the cat food. I like having that. And I'm going to jump off here because, like I said, this is really dragging on now, so I apologize. But uh, I just wanted to share a little bit of that with you. And uh, But anyway, guys, listen, I hope everybody's doing well. I hope you're enjoying your weekends. Remember, uh, hug and kiss the ones you love. Tell them every day tomorrow is not guaranteed. And remember, guys, it's STD. It's one step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you're working towards, you can do it, and the only one that's going to stop you is you. Okay? I will talk to you all tomorrow. Prep and nurse one out for now.